Hey everyone, welcome back into our Monday night Fairbanks evening news. Mike Schultz with you once again. I hope you had yourself a good weekend. It wasn't that great. We had uh, cloudy skies, cool temperatures, even a little rain, but today it made up for it and tomorrow's going to be even better. I'll tell you about that in just a little bit. With all the rain we've had this summer, it's been perfect for growing mushrooms. And this is exactly what uh, Carol Renfro was able to capture, wild summer mushrooms. A nice close-up shot there. And you can see they, they look... Uh, you know, very tantalizing, but I'm sure they're probably not good to eat. But anyway, keep in mind that uh, when you're out picking mushrooms to make sure you pick the right ones. Again, photos at KTVF11.com if you want to share a photo with the audience. 72 degrees, that's our current temperature, the high for the day. Recently, uh, last night, our overnight low was 50 degrees, the record high 87 in 1919, record low freezing in 1944, sunrise and sunset, almost 18 hours of daylight. We'll lose more tomorrow, about seven minutes to be exact. Our latest radar and satellite is showing once again most of the energy across the southwest portion of the state and over southeast Alaska. In between, just a few scattered clouds and clearing out even better because we've got a high pressure ridge building in that's going to clear everything out and give us some very, very warm temperatures tomorrow. For temperatures today, it was right around uh, 66 degrees at Juneau, scattered showers, rain still around the Ketchikan area. Over the uh, Anchorage Bowl, 76, nice day there. Still some rain falling at Kodiak Island, 60 degrees, and raining at Cold Bay, 57. Up and down the west coast, nice day in Bethel, 75 degrees, 50 at Nome, and north of the Brooks Range, 44 degrees at Barrow, with Fort Yukon checking in with 70 degrees. Lower 48 weather looks like this. And again, we're talking about warm temperatures at Seattle, 82 degrees, 100 in teens uh, for the uh, southwest portion of the country, but not as warm in Denver as it was last week and very much uh, cooler in Salt Lake City. Over the 100 degree mark at Dallas, Fort Worth, not too bad in Minneapolis, Chicago, 82 degrees, uh, 94 degrees in Seattle, 94 also in Atlanta, and the 90s still around the uh, northeastern portion of the country all the way down to Washington, D.C. On the satellite and radar, you can see a little bit of uh, satellite, I mean, a little bit of uh, rain share activity developing uh, over the Rocky Mountains and working its way to the east. Otherwise, uh, things are pretty scattered, just a few scattered showers here and there, and up and down the west coast, of course, with all the hot temperatures, clear skies there. Now, the overall outlook is, uh, for tomorrow is calling for scorching temperatures to continue over the southwest, while up and down the west coast uh, looking at very nice conditions, and the heat wave looks like it's coming to an end there. Why? Well, because the jet stream is dropping a little further to the south. That doesn't allow as much hot air to move as far north as it has been. Very, very hot temperatures will continue across Texas, and thunderstorms scattered over the southeastern portions of the country. Back to Alaska for tomorrow. Here's what it looks like in the northern sections. Cloudy skies, some fog for Barrow. Partly cloudy skies at Nome. But lots of sunshine in Fort Yukon and near 80 degrees for the high. Here in the interior, couldn't ask for a better forecast. Abundant sunshine for the region and considerably warmer than it was today. 83 for Fairbanks, 80 at Delta Junction. And over southeast Alaska, we'll have the rain still continuing uh, around the Ketchikan area, but partly cloudy skies at Juneau. Over the southwest part of the state, it looks like for the most part, cloudy skies with rain at Cold Bay, rain in Kodiak, and partly cloudy skies for Bethel. And down around southeast or south central sections of Alaska, sunny skies across the region there. Weather, another nice day for Anchorage 75, Valdez at 72. Our forecast for the remainder of the night looks like this. A beautiful evening, just scattered clouds, 55 degrees. Tomorrow's forecast, 83. Can you believe that? And lots of sunshine and the five-day outlook. Again, temperatures kind of calming down a little bit, down to the low 70s, right on through with the weekend into the beginning of the fair. And also overnight lows will also be cooling down a little bit to right around 50 degrees, but 83 tomorrow, guys. Nice. Perfect temperature for all the football players out there in two-day practice. In two days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember those oh, days. Absolutely. <laughs> no humidity out here, so you guys, are, you guys will be all right. Yeah. <laughs>